So we would like to see some of your works mm -hmm. and we're going to start with your jewelry. Okay. So we want you to pick up the pieces and tell us a little bit about each piece. Oh boy. Okay. And what it does. Well, these are just for beauty's sake, really. Um, but I do charge them and bless them when I have completed them and I'm ready to sell them or they're, they've been bought by someone. Um, so I, I will generally just, you know, I hold them in my hand and I bless them um, and charge them with energy. Um, but for example, this one is smoky quartz stones and it has some beautiful little Swarovski crystals in there and all this down here. Um, I made by hand all these little pieces, but it's elegant and beautiful. And um, we're going to zoom in on that piece a little bit. It's absolutely beautiful. The viewers should really see it. It's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. Yeah. What inspired that piece, uh, Sunny, for you as an artist? Oh, I don't know. I just, I really love beautiful, elegant things. And so I am, um, I get inspired by beauty. And so I really want everything to be beautiful. I really okay. have that. You have some wire work there as well. I do. I do. Um, these are, again, just inspired by nature and the things, patterns that you find in nature and things that are beautiful to me. Um, it and feels very just, elemental. Yeah, it has a lot of that energy, elemental, meaning like, you know, inspired by, you know, by nature and by fairies and all our beautiful little energies that are that are around us that inspire us. Um, it's 16 gauge non-tarnished brass, and it, but it, so it keeps that beautiful gold luster to it. Um, so it makes it look like it's much more expensive than it actually is. Um, but each piece is unique, and they're free form, and I bend them mostly by hand, and then I use the tools to make the smaller swirls. Again, this one I did um, in Hawaii, sitting by the ocean. <laughs> yeah, it looks okay. like Hawaii. It's absolutely beautiful. Right. So you can see that inspiration. There now, in can someone put any type of um, hanging, like a chain or a love strap on this? Absolutely. That's how I wear them. Um, but just with a, sim a, a, a simple tongue, I think is best. You know, you can change the color of the tongue, but to me, it kind of stands on its own. Um, and I just did a, a simple loop. Can you show it. us that around your neck? Because it's just sure. so beautiful. It's so um, simple and simplistic. And See? Now, how much would something like that go for if the viewer, if our viewers were interested in purchasing something like that? Like, how much would that normally go for? It's, a, one, for? it's a wonderful, it's a one of a kind. It it's a, a very personal piece. piece. Mm -hmm. You won't see a cookie cutter uh, piece of jewelry made in this type of fashion, which is something that I really love mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. What would someone look to pay to be unique? Well, these pieces, again, it's just a standalone pendant, but these pieces would probably go for about 35 each. They're still pretty reasonable, I think. Um, and, um, yeah, it is. It's definitely one of a kind pieces. They're definitely one of a kind. And who can you envision wearing something like that? I think it's a really pretty piece. I think it's for, it's timeless, and mm -hmm. it can be worn for anyone of any age. And it's, it's very true. unisex, which is another thing that I love about yes. your pieces, your yes. wire pieces. Well, this one ha does have a pearl in it, but the other ones don't. And, of course, that was just an addition that I had. This is a very basic swirl. It's just a swirl. And so something like that is very simple. It just depends on who is inspired to wear it. See? Very simple. Nice, nice, just beautiful. Pops off the skin. Beautiful, um, beautiful piece. And this is another piece, a little larger, but still simple and beautiful and elegant. Wow, really, really, really nice piece. Yeah, I like the fact that your pieces are unisex, even the one with the pearl. Because in a lot of cultures like India, Africa, mm. the Middle East, men do wear pearls. Indeed. You indeed know, indeed, indeed there's nothing feminine about a pearl. <laughs> um, people had this concept that certain stones are for women and certain stones are for men. Right. But, you know, not really just according, I guess, to what you like. It's true. It's just according to what you like. Now, you have a favorite of mine that um, I've been looking at from here. It's sort of pinkish there. Um, ah, this piece here. Yeah, that that is just. Um, can you show show us that? I, I I just want everyone to see it. Oh. It's really a I, beauty. I need to untangle a little bit, but this is one of my favorite pieces as well. Call it Coral Sea, and 
the irony of this piece is that I recently from, returned from being in, Haw in Hawaii for 11 months and I started using pearls and coral in my pieces way before I way before I uh, even went to Hawaii. So that's the irony of it. I was sort of calling it to my spirit even before I went there. But this is a piece that I hand, um, I hand uh, made the wire coral tree as you see there. And it has um, two types of wire um, to make the tree. And then it has on top of it adventurine stone. It has glass beads and it has Swarovski crystal embedded in it as well. Can you try that one? I mean, yes. it's Wait, before you try it on, can you just lower your hand a little bit so I can get a good sure. glimpse there of you the go. stone, of the detail of it? Mm -hmm. just want to show how um, I, If anybody can see that, that is just um, beautiful. I mean, you can't even appreciate it. Um, the picture doesn't do it justice. The, the picture doesn't do it justice. <laughs> and I'm going to ask Sunny to, you know, we're all women here today, so, you know, we all love jewelry. Uh -huh. And I'm going to ask Sunny to try this piece on because you really have to see uh -huh. the detail in the work. Yes, indeed. And, um, oh, this was this is a great joy. This piece of, is a great joy to me. Um, um, and it looks like this when you wear it. Let me just make sure. So the clasp is handmade. All of it is made. All the wire work is made by hand. And it's worn to the side. And you can wear it. You can wear it. And if we can come in close on that. But I love that because I think it's very elegant and old world if you wear it to the side. <laughs> it, is, it, is it, does, it, does, it does have a very um, <laughs> old world look to it. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's just beautiful. Yeah. Almost puts me in the, font, in the, in the mind frame of um, English society a little bit after after World War One and kind of into World oh, War yes. Two, when ragtime was starting, when the mm -hmm. African Americans were going over and mm -hmm. performing in, in England and yes. various places, yeah. very elegant. Thank Love you. it. Thank you. Can you show us some of the earrings as well? Oh, sure. So let's see. These are a favorite. Um, I made these well, actually while I was in Hawaii as well. Um, okay, so I leaned your hand down a little bit more so I can get a good look at those. I love pearls. Pearls and try incorporate Pearls themselves. Yeah, they I know. I can't. I'm like a trained animal. <laughs> I, I do. I love pearls. So they always find their way into my jewelry some way, somehow. Um, can but, you pick one piece up for us? So yes. Because it? it hangs and it's not. It doesn't look heavy at all. No, they're very which is light. One of the, which is one of my concerns about jewelry with the young girls because they tend to wear earrings mm -hmm. that seem to be disfiguring the ears, and that's very light and very yes, delicate. Yes, it is. And yet, it's very noticeable. It's they're very elegant. Yes, they get a little a little shimmer and shake to them. <laughs> and you have a pair of ones that are gold looking. Those yes. are all set. I mean, folks, I if you could see them. these. It's just. Can you just separate? And just they look one? like chandeliers. Yes. You know, they these this crystal in these in the bottom, the gold crystal, is actually cubic zirconia crystal. So they they make the crystal out of the same material. They make the cubic zirconia stones. So that's why it has so much color and fire, and um, you can see a full rainbow in them. They're really beautiful. They are indeed. They, they and are then they indeed. have they have Swarovski crystal at the top and seed beads made with the loops in here. And then again, like the rest of your pieces, there's nothing heavy about your jewelry. Right. And I, the energy is also light around your jewelry. I know it's it's a very um, light, joyful sort of energy. Is mm -hmm. that intentional when you're making your, ju your jewelry? I, I think so. I mean, I, I, again, I, I mostly make it because it's beautiful. And I think it brings me so much joy. And I know beauty brings other people joy. So I think it just becomes infused in the patterns and designs that I create. Like these are my little fairies that I love. And they're playful and fun, you know. Um, <laughs> I love these little fairies. You they're know, cute. They're, yeah. beautiful. they're really sweet. They're beautiful. So when people have a session with you, an energy session, working session. Yes. Um, and you're doing pieces, activation pieces. Sometimes I'm going to assume, but I'm going to ask this question. Sometimes those activations, does it call for jewelry? Does it call for them to have something that they are wearing on the body? Sometimes it does. It's always up to the person um, if they want to have that piece. So I ha have given pieces away um, when I found that it was necessary for them to have something on their body. Um, so yes, I mean, it doesn't mean that um, I have to make you a piece of jewelry like this. It could, it could be a simple stone. 
that I charge with energy um, and weave it into a little basket and you can hang it off of a simple thing. And do people often bring jewelry that they already own and stones that they already own? Do you do that as well? Charge them or show them how to charge their stones? Mm -hmm. and I can absolutely do that. Um, there are different ways to clear and cleanse stones so that it doesn't have old energy or stagnant energy. It's very important when you have natural stones and your jewelry to clear it from uh, jewelry, uh, excuse me, to clear it from energy. So, so it'll it'll hold the energy that you carry around with you um, every day. If you stress, the, the stone will carry that energy. The jewelry will have that energy as well. So it's important to clear it. To clear the energy. energy. Yeah. That's nice. So you know something? Um, I, I There's another little piece. Um, it's sort of blue and it's a very... Um, uh, it's like for your arm. I love things for the wrist. Yes. Um, this is this is another piece that I made while I was in Hawaii. <laughs> if you can't tell, it's got beautiful mother of pearl pieces that they glisten with this blue iridescent light, which is why I added um, the turquoise beads to it. But it has turquoise mother and mother of pearl and glass beads as well. It's really beautiful. It's kind of a statement piece, but. It's really pretty. <laughs> it's, a, it's a statement piece with good energy. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> it's a statement piece with good energy. Yeah. yeah. Which is really, really nice. Yeah. Just, just wonderful. So thank you so much for your time and, you know, showing us your work and your artwork and what you do. And um, I'm hoping that uh, you'll enjoy your stay in our community. And um, thank you so much for coming here and for um, blessing our time with you and the whole community as well. And we would like to keep abreast of your artwork you're going to show so we can let the community know to come out and support you. Absolutely. As well as when you have showings for your jewelry as well. We, we think that a lot of the um, young ladies in the community, older and younger, will appreciate your jewelry. Mm -hmm. It's certainly beautiful. But before we end, I just have to ask to see one more piece. There's a piece yes. that kind of brings to mind Josephine Baker. I'm sorry to do this to <laughs> you, but I just want to see this piece and would you be able to put it on for us? Absolutely. This is one of my favorites too. <laughs> it, it, it does have a little Josephine we, Baker. Uh, uh, viewers, we are having such a good time uh, <laughs> with um, Sunny. Um, who doesn't like to play she's with a, she's, a, she's actually, she's just a fascinating person, a great artist. And just a great person to have a conversation and chat with. Oh. All right. You ready? Here we go. go. Oh. <laughs> that is simply divine. And you, uh, and viewers, there's this green and iridescent and it's beautiful. beautiful. It's I love it's, it. It's a statement piece, but oh boy. Oh boy. What a yes, statement. It is. It's, it's, it's really, it's, I mean, I, I think that it's a beautiful piece, and I'm thinking that that goes with something really strapless or, you know, something very elegant. Or you can throw it on with a little top that has a v-neck. and yeah. Even with a pair of jeans, jeans, it funks it up and it gives does. it a certain An element of class to it. An <laughs> element of class to it. Because so many times, you know, when I'm walking down the street and I see people with jewelry, I've seen that piece of jewelry a hundred times yeah. on a hundred different people. Yes. And I'm saying to myself, you know, if I'm going to have a piece of jewelry, I want it to be unique to me yes. and for me. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love about your work. They're one of a kind pieces and they are so beautiful. And it's, and a, it's a statement piece, but it's not large and overbearing. No, it's, and it's also very light, even yeah, though it's big. It's mm -hmm. elegant, mm -hmm. and it has a lot to say, but it's very, very beautiful. Thank very beautiful. You. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you so much, much Sunny. Oh, Thank you. You're welcome. And we would love to keep the Greenview community posted of any activities that you're involved in. Absolutely.